<laughs> it's Bobby Boyette. It's Bobby Boyette. He's back. One of the most popular wrestlers. And you can see it, you can see it in the signage out there, you can see it in the fan reaction, they love this guy. If you remember the CCW Monster Mash Royal Rumble, then you remember Candy Corn, as he came to be known. The world's largest piece of candy corn coming in there, making a hell of a showing. And the fans love it, you hear the Bobby chants coming in right now, they're ready to see it. And somehow, Bobby Boyette, that popularity has cruised him straight into a shot at the River Valley Championship and the River Valley Champion, Kirk Obey. Let's just give it up for Bobby right here, a hell of an individual. And he's here all the way from Shreveport, Louisiana, or Louisiana, as I'm pretty sure I heard him say it right there. But Bobby Boyette, the candy corn, the very candy corn from the Monster Mash Royal Rumble. And he's here back in action again tonight, all the way from Shreveport, Louisiana, or Louisiana, as we call it around here. And his opponent. Kirk Obey has been a dominant River Valley champion, although maybe not a popular one by a lot of people's assessment. He's had matchups with, of course, Horsepower Hunter Samson, as we mentioned earlier, as well as Fantana. We have a uh, new NBWA Board of Directors member, Troy, uh, making his way into the ring right now. Let's see what he has to say. My apologies, folks. Uh, we've been in contact with Kirk Obey. He is our River Valley champion. And he has said that for the past month, ever since the last time he was here, that he's been sick. Did Kirk Obey call in sick? I know. I, in his mind, in, in his words, he said that he caught a parasite from the parasites. Okay? I apologize, people of Fredericton. Yeah, I, that's well. not what you are. I told him he still is to come and fight, but he texted me saying, no, he is not coming. And so unfortunately, no, Mr. Boyer, you will not be fighting Kirk Obey. You absolutely hate to see it. Kirk Obey calling in sick. He has been complaining However, on social media about being sick. This is a situation that the enforcer, Chris Lewis, can take care of. But for now, my job is just to make sure that you, the fans, are happy tonight. If you want to make him happy, give him Bobby Boyette. The crowd rallying behind Bobby Boyette. They want the match. They don't care who. It's a damn shame that he's not going to get his title shot. I'm hearing that the people here, Mr. Boyette, want to see you fight. Let's hear it, Bobby. <laughs> He's ready to deliver. Make a match. Who you got, Troy? Well, I have good news for you. We do have a replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Mr. Boyette's challenger right now. Who is it going to be? Got it all, young, young, rich, and handsome. Uh, it's not random. It's not really ain't got it, understand, son. Yeah. behaving somewhat aggressively towards Draven. I gotta believe anyone who came out here with the intention of punching and kicking and grappling Bobby Boyette was gonna get a bad reception. It almost doesn't matter who you sit out here at this point. He's got a little bit of a different look than the last time we saw him, but this is Draven hailing from Nova Scotia and the Ring Loyals. He was one half of the tag team with Daniel Wall that took on the Strong Brothers just a few months ago. He had an incredible House of Fire moment, but... Of course, the ring loyals not being loved by the crowd during that match, although you could almost say the same about our tag team champions. But Draven is just getting dumped on right now by the audience who are not happy to see him. They want to see Bobby tear something up. 
and they're hoping that that something's going to be Draven. So once again, we have the man called Draven coming in five foot eleven, about 180 pounds, versus the six foot 365 pound Bobby Boyette. How much of that is beard? We don't know. Chorus of booze, Draven. I would not be playing this game. I mean. Unless you thrive on the booze, just get out there and start your match. You're going to have to win this crowd over with wrestling because you cannot match the unbridled charisma of the man from Louisiana. Bobby Chance raining down continuously over the crowd, over the arena, out into the street, all the way to Feeds and Needs and Tim Hortons, maybe even all the way to Haley's Pawn Shop, sponsor of CCW. Shout out Haley's Pawn Shop, where Draven can maybe go and purchase himself some cheers. Maybe even a new hat. Not sure why you come out in a ball cap, but looking a little nonchalant. Referee Alex on duty during this match, giving each gentleman a quick check. You never know a match made on the fly like this. I wouldn't expect Bobby Boyette to have brought anything into a championship match, where that could have hurt his opportunity to win the, to win the belt. Draven, on the other hand, we don't know what he was doing when this match was made or how long he knew about it. Got a quick circle up, both men looking tremendous. Bobby Boyette, interesting, um, interesting boots on this individual. I'm not sure we're going to get that on camera. Looks like a, sort of a tennis or a skater shoe. We got a wrist lock, nice quick reversal. Draven has some quickness. And we know from his match, and from his tag team match with Daniel Wall against the Strong Brothers, that he can move and he can turn it on when he needs to. I don't think he's going to be able to outpower Bobby Boyette. He's always all the way down. He's getting twisted up right now. You let a big man get a small joint manipulation, that is going to hurt. Oh, but he vanesses his way back up. Bobby's got a counter, but he's got a little vanesse of his own. He moves well for a big dude. <laughs> he's there, but I don't think we're going to see him kip up like Draven just did. This is turning into a technical back and forth battle. <coughs> Bobby Boyette says, you know what? I had enough wrist locks. This crowd's here to see me clobber somebody. Why don't you hit those ropes and come back and take a big old shoulder block to the ground? I'm gonna take a breather. <laughs> you can see him shaking off that wrist pain a little bit. So we know some damage was done by Draven, but when the going got tough, Bobby turned on the power advantage and just took right back over. So both men, they're learning to respect each other right here. Got quick. So Draven going the quickness route, but has he even got those hands? I, I doubt those hands were clasped around the thick midsection of Bobby Boyette. I don't think he was getting he was getting any fingers or thumbs even hooked together to hang on for this. And he just, he's just showing off. You know what? This crowd has Bobby Boyette so fired out. I'm terrified he's going to make a mistake. That he's going to get a little bit too, to have, be having too much fun. He, he's, letting, uh, he's letting go of his advantage for the sake of circling up again. He's getting his hair pulled by Draven. Maybe just because Draven's been losing these exchanges. He's decided that he's going to just go for the hair pull this time. He's going to take the, the cheap opportunity. Bobby, you know he saw that coming. <laughs> Speaking about Bobby taking breaks, Draven taking a huge break right there. Now he's getting he's getting goozled, reverse goozled, bounced off the turnbuckles. Bobby's walking him around the ring. He's going to take him. He's going to complete the four. We got three. We got three out of the four corners. He's going for it. He's going to bring it in right now. The crowd is going to love it. It's going to be four hits. Draven is staggered. Uh, right now, he was getting carried around. He's getting muscled around. Aye. He got cycloned. That was a, a Louisiana hurricane right there. <laughs> and he is, he is just not, he's loopy. He doesn't know, he doesn't know where he's. Pit. I want to say pin him, but I guess I'm just happy Bobby's happy. He's having such a great time in there, and that's what the fans love about him. Oh. Draven's lucky he saw that coming. That would have landed hard. Shotgun drop kick. Knocks Bobby Boyette into the corner. Just keep keep at him if you want a shot at this thing. We're gonna need shades of Fantana here in CCW. We got the press into the drop kick in the corner, but he's having a little tough time dragging Bobby Boyette out to go for the pin. He was awful. He did not move the big man very far to get that pin. Bobby could have reached out, grabbed a rope, slid a foot under the side of the ring any moment that he would have chosen to. And we got another, another choke in the rope right now. Referee utilizing the count. Draven held it for four. So at that point, you know it's personal. <laughs> Some kind of exchange happening right there with, 
Referee Alex. Ooh. That beard did not offer any protection to Bobby Boyette. I could hear that all the way here at Clash Corner at the commentary table. We got some stiff shots. He might be upset about being out muscled earlier in this match, and he's laying, he's laying these shots in. Trying, I think he's trying to get Bobby to want to give up. Right in the kidney. Switches the level, goes high in the back. We got another, it turned into a slugfest right here. We had very technical wrestling. <laughs> stiff chop. This Draven is chopping his heart out, but they're just not landing on that, on the thickness of Bobby Boyette. But that that hook right on the chin, that is Draven's best tool in the toolbox right now as he lands another one, knocking, staggering Bobby Boyette, knocking him down to a knee. I don't know what Draven's gonna be able to do to him from that position though. He's got so he's gotta move him. I don't know if this is is gonna pay off. Trying to suplex the big man. And you reap what you sow. Massive stall suplex. You see the elevation right there. Draven fully stretched out, full elevation. There may be 12, 13, 14 feet up in the air. Ooh, stumbles right in. What is happening to Draven right now? Oh my God. I'm having sympathetic back pain uh, watching this man get walked around. This has got to be it. Bobby Boyette's going to put him away right here. <laughs> Just, I would please give up. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. At least, at least he's been released. I am gonna need a Motrin after watching that. That was that was excruciating. I, that almost made me feel bad for Draven seeing him carted around like that. Uh, I think we got a big old Louisiana splash coming in. Yeah. Big hip check, he's got him trapped in the corner right now. Might consider firing some back elbows in there, but he's grabbing him for what looks like conventionally a bulldog. We're not gonna get a chance to find out. Draven gets him in the eye, quick thumb to the eye. And we got a springboard leg drop to the back of the head. Gnarly, uh, I, he shouldn't have taken the time to pose, but looks like Bobby Boyette still getting the shoulder up. This is an intense back and forth competition right now and it is getting hard to predict who's gonna be on top. Draven locks in the sleeper, trying to cut off the air supply. When you're carrying around a lot of mass, your body has to get oxygen to that mass, to that those muscles. So you cut off the lungs, the bigger they are, the more oxygen they're gonna need, so the more you can make that play to cut that off, the better day you're gonna have. Looks like Bobby's getting up to his feet, so I like the odds of him breaking this hole. Two shots to the chin right there. Three shots, and thinking massive head. But Bobby Boyette's head did not even move back at all uh, when he hit that. It looked like it was nothing uh, to him, and you can see the effects that it had on Draven. Oh, some kind of standing sent on there misses uh, might have been an elbow drop blame uh, the perspective from the commentators table on that you can see Bobby Betts clutching his elbow so we don't know if that was what he was trying to attack with or what that's just what took the hit discus kick <laughs> Draven going back on a strike and this is shades of what we saw in his tag team matchup with the strong brothers and he starts laying in the strikes and the repeated quick attacks he's a very difficult individual to catch and he's hard to keep up with so you gotta weather the storm with this kid. Bobby Boyette coming, meets him in the middle, gets another running knee. The strikes are making all the difference. And it's gonna be a two and three quarters. Right there, you can see Bobby is starting to, it's starting to weigh on him. It's starting to gear him down a little bit. The crowd still very much behind. Behind the man from Shreveport. And you know, the strikes are working. It's getting a little bit desperation. This makes perfect sense. Draven's gonna go up to the top and he's gonna try to land a big, I'm guessing drop kick based on what I've seen. Don't get distracted attacking the referee like that. Swing it around, swing it around. And he fires in, it's a cross body, but he got caught by the big man, Baba Boyette. Sends him down the world's strongest slam and a twirly elbow drop. The big one coming in. The crowd. Oh. 
Winning the match is one thing. Winning the match while your name is being chanted. Whole other level. And uh, Bobby almost lived the dream. Just dismisses Draven right there. I think he's going to—he's calling to do it again. He's going to give us another taste of the Louisiana magic. Draven just loopy again. Knocked, getting knocked around here. He took a couple of serious, serious hits. Good on him for kicking out of it. We do, oh, he sneaks out the back. Ducks a line, spinning heel kick. I think it caught Bobby right on the chin. If he gets in for a pin right now, he might actually catch him. Dad, oh. Kick out, yeah. Oh, there was some kind of strike, some kind of push off right there. It all happened at one. To be fair though, Draven was really not moving too fast, getting in to position for that. There's only so many windows that are gonna open for this, for this kid to win this match. Bobby's getting all the way back up on his feet. Goes for another spinning keel kick. Gets caught. Woo! There it is. That's the big one. That is the big one right there. And Bobby Boyette puts away Draven. crowd could not be more behind this guy right there. Looks like we have to wait an additional month to see him get his shot at the River Valley Championship in Kirk Bay, but he's going to have a gratuitous amount of fan support when he gets there. And you know, you don't have to rush. So it looks like we're going to have to wait another month to see Kirk Obey defend that belt against Bobby Boyette, but the amount of fan appreciation that is behind him, I, I hate to rush. I just want to see this thing play out. He's doing great. Beloved character here. If you remember him from the Monster Mash Royal Rumble, he was the candy corn. And let's see okay. what we have next here tonight. The following 17. contest is Well, Draven, I gotta say, you came all the way here from Halifax to get all that hate. How does it feel? It feels like I got robbed because I'm facing guys triple my size and I'm still out here competing. Well, Bobby Boyette is the one of the toughest people I've been in the ring with in my life. But I guarantee you, the next time I'm at CCW, I will defeat Bobby Boyette. Bobby, you are clearly the fan's favorite out there. How do you feel about your win tonight? I feel so grateful to be here. I love it here in Frederick. I love it in CCW. I had my heart set. I'm going after that belt. Kurt wasn't here. They got me a talented young man to compete with. He, uh, Took the low road a couple times, oh. but I got credit where credit was due. He's got a heck of a left hand. Oh, and that's hard to watch out for. But uh, another wonderful night here in Fredericton at CCW, one of my favorite places in the world. Thank, Thank you. you all Thank for you watching. For your time, Bobby. Thank you.